So by now you should have your get X, set X, get Y and set Y working. I've intentionally not done my uh, get Y and set Y because that's your job. So mine's just gonna keep saying zero for a while. At some point I'll probably need it, but for now I'll just leave it at zero. Okay, and it should all the valid new X's and new Y's should show up. So 200 wouldn't show up, but somewhere over here, those are all the invalid ones. Uh, when you set all the Y's to 50, 50 should show up, set Y to zero, zeros should show up, set Y to 200, 200 should show up. And you, again, you can see that in the sample output somewhere way up here. Here's all the uh, set Y's, set Y to 50, you see 50, set Y to zero, zero, set Y to 200, 200, et cetera, et cetera. The invalid ones need to also work and not change. All right, so we're gonna look at the set speed now. I'm gonna take this comment, Alt Shift down, 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 we'll move it down here. And we need a set speed method. So there's a few ways to do it. With your get Y and set Y, I have a feeling you duplicated your get Y and set Y in here, like copy paste and then edited them. And that's a very reasonable way to do it. That's why I said, make sure to change height to width as well. There's a, another way to do it. Set speed is gonna be a little different. So I'm gonna click here and click create set speed right here. Uh, I'm not actually gonna click on it. I'll show you what it's gonna do. It's gonna create a method that looks exactly like this. It's called set speed, takes int. Now it's just gonna give this some random letter right here. And i is not great, but new speed is. That looks just like the new x, new y. Don't worry about this throw new exception. We'll cover exceptions later. Exceptions are when things are going wrong. All right, set speed. Now we're gonna need another variable called speed. So control shift down, dupl duplicate that speed. All right, here we go, speed equals new speed. But speed always equals one, that's not good. We're setting the speed, but it's always one. So again, you can't just print, you just can't have speed equals always one. We need to put the actual value right there. Now we should see a change, all right. So those are all the valid speeds. Now, if you're going too fast, then, or negative, that's not valid. And you'll see that in the sample output right here in the invalid set speeds, you can't go negative. And so the speed was 20, stays 20. Um, and there's a maximum of 100. All right, the way to do that, you could just use 100 everywhere, but if you wanna change that maximum to 150 or some other value in the future, uh, you'd have to, every time you used 100, wherever you used 100, you'd have to go in and change it to 150. So what we're gonna do instead, the reason this is static, this sets it for not just the piece that we built, but any pieces in the future that we make. We make 500 pieces, all of them share this same max speed value. Final means it's never gonna be a different value. So as soon as I run with 100, you can't change it to a different number unless you stop the code and start it again. So I'm gonna just set the max speed to 100 and we're gonna use the max speed right here to make sure speed's not too much. And so that's gonna look a lot like making sure your new X is not greater than uh, the width. So you need to do that inside set speed.